Hey, I'm Patrick Sweeney. We've got a really exciting episode for you today. We're going to try and do a single day ski mountaineering summit of Mont Blanc from Chamonix. Joe Barry. Joe Barry. Good jo morning. Joe is uh, one of my climbing mates here, and today we're going to go up the Grand Moulet route and try and get to the summit of Mont Blanc. It's 8.24 here in Cham, so we'll get an 8.30 start. Once we reach the mid-station at the Guy de Midi, we're going to ski across really steep field just below the north face. After we go across in front of the north face and through those avalanche fields, we're going to keep climbing up until we get to one of the most beautiful glaciers in the world. We're an hour and a half in and we're taking our first break for a little snack and uh, get the packs off, get some water, a little chow. I mean, it's 10.30. We started right at 9. We're exactly an hour and a half in and our goal is to summit by 3. A few hours in and we made it to the Bossan Glacier, this glacier next to us, which is really beautiful. And actually there's some buried treasure here, which some of it's been found. An Air India plane went down here with a bunch of jewels on it and someone found it like three years ago. But Joe and I have decided what, Joseph? Two more hours. Two more hours uh, because getting here has been pretty tough. And yeah, it has been a bit of a mission. So we've just taken off skis and we're, uh, we've just taken off skis and we're going to crampons and ice axes and we're going to go rope up down at the bottom because we can see a bunch of crevasses down there and uh, some open holes. So while we're on foot and our weight isn't is dispersed, we're going to rope up and then go up one of those ridges and see how far we can go. Maybe that helicopter will give us a lift home. Go across a very deeply crevasse, which is incredibly dangerous. There's a number of climbers who die here every year. These crevasses are so dangerous because as this skier found out, the snow can accumulate enough to cover it up and make sure you don't see it's there, but dangerous and scary enough to suck you in. Ah! So we'll be roped up. We'll be going across these beautiful crevasse fields. And then we're gonna climb up and head towards something called the Grand Malay Hut. This is the original route taken more than 200 years ago by the guys who first summited Mont Blanc, Balmat and Picard. Now it's particularly dangerous up above the Grand Malay on this area called the Petit Plateau. This flat area, this plateau, has a number of seracs just above it. And the serac falls can come down at any time. This is like something the size of a, of a major house or a building coming down and tumbling. It'll trigger avalanches, it'll trigger other seracs. It's the most dangerous part of the climb and the area you want to be the quickest to get through. <laughs> I've watched shit fall off this from down there many times. I've never been quite as close to it. Yeah, that's a that's a big wow. that's a big serac that just went. Yeah. Oh, Fuck me. No, we're definitely not going that way. Wow. That's the ascent as we start to go up and the dangerous part. Then we get up above what's called the Dome de Goutte. Now this is a little bit treacherous, mainly because there's big avalanche risk. So it's avalanche risk that we're facing first and we've got to be careful of that. You'll see us go across a bunch of avalanche fields and it's particularly hard. Now, everyone knows that the weather can change on a dime in the mountains. So you have to be very respectful of that. What people tend to forget also and there are three other important things to keep in mind. Number one is your training. If you're not trained well enough, you shouldn't be doing an adventure. So you always got to know your limits. It's okay to push beyond them every now and then, but knowing the training so you can get in and out of any situation you might get into is critical. So number one is the training. Number two is the route finding. You got to know the right route, where you're going, and how to get in and out of areas when you're in the deep woods or when you're in the mountains. Number three is your gear. You gotta have the right gear for the right weather, for the right conditions, for the right route. So you've got training, you've got routing, and you've got gear are the three critical important things to keeping something safe, fun, and successful. Well, it's two o'clock. Joe and I had an awesome tour up here. As you can see, we're in an absolutely 
breathtaking, amazing location. Joe, what was the day like? Tell us about your, your tour up. A little harder than we were expecting, so I guess we didn't get quite as far as we thought we might get. I'd say one of the coolest things about the day is it's incredibly beautiful. Uh, this, the scenery is great. The weather has been just about perfect. And we learned some new stuff about this route. Neither one of us had been up here before. We also learned a little bit about the uh, gear, right gear. Next time we're both going to have <laughs> ski crampons, yeah. without a doubt. Uh, and I'm going to have a leash for my ski crampons because I lost one. 